give you an idea why I fill up in uh, Portland with gas before I head down this way. Gas in Portland was 321 a gallon. Come straight down to Nashville, 379 a gallon. And they're advertising that on a billboard like it's something special. I'd be embarrassed to put something up like that. But I'm almost at the radio station now. So I'll show you here in a minute what's, uh, what we're looking at. It's kind of sad, actually. Especially knowing that one guy's in charge of and responsible for it all. Here we are. WBOL AM 1470. But you see the driver's side windows busted out. Some jackass threw a brick through the front windshield, which is still inside it. Radio needs some radio station needs some work. And the the grass could use cutting if nothing else. But Now, people from Nashville may know this van, but I think it's sad that people from the community are the ones that are responsible for this. This is some retarded stuff right here. Look at that. Just completely retarded. And there's the brick. And the man ain't got tons of money to pour into fixing the thing back up. That's the sad thing. I don't even think there's anything in this van. You can see back there it's empty. But I'm kind of led myself to want to help him out, get him back up and running again. Oh, and they busted out the back window too. Nice. So yeah, you can see an unobstructed view there that that's just sad. And this is a radio station that's for the community, gives to the community. A lot of people like and a lot of people listen to and this is how they pay them back now I was told that they did have a controversial DJ here holy cow yeah the eaves on the front of the building all rotten away those need replaced too roofs in good shape still though that's one good thing bushes need trimmed All this needs to be cut out of here. Every bit of it. Because that's just a place for somebody to hide when they come down here being stupid. And there's all their antennas back there. That people broke into each one of the little huts. And screwed with things. There's one of the storage buildings there. And there's another one over there. They got set fire to. It actually looks like the back side of this building got set fire to. Yep, it did. Holy cow. Man alive. That's just crazy. And the guy's trying to do this all himself. And yeah, the back side don't look nearly as good as the front side does. Wow. 
he does need to hire somebody to come out here and cut all this down but he can't do it his radio station's down I'll get him fixed up I think I figured out the program already so I may have it uh, about up and running now but I'm having to reload the computers because the people that he's, he got the computers from put bootleg version of Windows OS on it, or Windows XP OS. That's ridiculous. The man gives to the community, his radio station keeps the community happy, entertains them, and people come down here and just tear his stuff up for him. Well, I'll see what I can do about helping him out. Well, good news. AM, Nashville's AM 1470 is back on air. Um, managed to get his uh, computers recognizing the network properly after uh, reloaded the operating system on both of the systems um, that had the bootleg copies on it previously and he should be getting new music programmed in as we speak and some of his commercials um, the people that had sold him the machines that he's got actually were there for two weeks trying to get this stuff working now he's audited because he's a radio station they get audited at least twice a year and if he'd have been audited with bootleg operating systems on his machine that could have got him fined really bad and he wasn't even thinking of that I reminded him of that earlier today um, but he is back online and they do have uh, I've still got some touch up to do. I've got to get their traffic machine back online yet. Um, but I have to contact somebody else. I wasn't going to call him at 10 o'clock at night. He's a happy man anyway. And he said that the people that did work on the system before that spent all that time and put the bootleg operating systems on and couldn't figure out how to make what work they're not coming back in there again now I don't think that's gonna mean that I've got a, a permanent customer or anything but if I have to go back there I know what needs to what needs to be where and what needs to work and what don't so at least he is back online but uh, I have to give my wife some credit I had her stop by to kinda give a fresh perspective on things because as per usual uh, I got a little frustrated with it because I got the operating systems reloaded and updated and everything and I still wasn't quite getting everything to, to see I wasn't getting each one of the computers to see each other uh, they were all connected to the internet but they weren't all seeing each other for some strange reason and of course she comes in with her analytical mind and starts chasing wires and had me look at the switches that they had there and figured out that they weren't linked together and I double checked it and sure enough they weren't I linked the two switches together and he's online they're seeing each other got the program loaded back in it and he's able to pull up all his music all his commercials and everything's set and good so he's back online now and he should be able to start generating revenue again here real shortly but just wanted to kind of give an update and I uh, thank you guys for watching uh, I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll talk to you later